we'll discuss about the <laughs> applied aspect of the median and alanda first of all we'll discuss about the applied aspect of the median nerve here in this diagram you have seen this is median nerve here is palmar cutaneous branch it passes superficial to flexor retinaculum this median nerve passes deep to flexor retinaculum and you have seen the course and branches of these nerves here this is thinner eminence this is hypothenar eminence this is transverse section at this level this is thinner eminence this is hypothenar eminence this is trapezium trapezoid capitate and hamate bone here under cover of this flexor retinaculum and between the flexor retinaculum this is flexor retinaculum and these are carpal bone a osseo fibrous and osseo fibrous tunnel is formed this is osseo fibrous tunnel through which this median nerve here is median nerve this is median nerve and this is ulnar bursa this is radial bursa and here is uh, flexor pulsus longus tendon here is flexor digitorum superficialis tendon portendus flexor digitorum profundus tendon these are present here and some structures lie superficial to flexor retinaculum here is volar carpal ligament this is volar carpal ligament this median nerve here lies deep to flexor retinaculum and present in this tunnel it gives a branch this is branch this is palmar cutaneous branch which passes superficial to flexor retinaculum here in case of fracture dislocation of this carpal bone trapezoid capitate or in case of maxo edema or in case of pregnancy sometimes this become inflamed the contents within this tunnel become inflamed and these due to inflammation this this median nerve is compressed if median nerve compressed here that means this nerve compressed here this nerve compressed here then the muscles paralyzed by paralyzed uh all the muscles paralyzed which are supplied by the median nerve so these muscles are adductor pulsus brevis opponent's pulsus and superficial head of flexor pulsus brevis so patient can not abduct this is adduction this is abduction so patient can not abduct the thumb this movement can not occur it can be tested by pen test apply pen here and ask to patient to touch this pen if this nerve is intact patient can touch the pen and if the median nerve is compressed then patient cannot touch this pen and a typical presentation of the thumb is adducted like this this is known as ape thumb deformity ape thumb deformity Deep thumb deformity, and this condition is known as carpal tunnel syndrome. This is carpal tunnel syndrome, where this median nerve is compressed in carpal tunnel. So there is motor loss. Patient cannot abduct, cannot count the finger, because opponent's pulse is become paralyzed. Patient cannot flex or partially flex. the finger because superficial head is paralyzed and the thing there is loss of sensory loss over the area supplied by this nerve that means letter 3 and half digit these are supplied by median nerve so these can be that can be sensory loss 
and the reported thing. This lateral two third of the palm, this portion, this lateral two third of palm, this portion is supplied by this palmar cutaneous branch which passes superficial to this, and this nerve is not compressed because it lies superficial to flexor reticulum. In this condition, in case of carpal tunnel syndrome, there is sensory supply over the lateral two third of the palm is intact. It is not affected, but sensory supply over the lateral three and half degree becomes affected. Where motor supply of the thinner eminence is affected, but this area sensory supply over lateral two third of the palm is unaffected because this palmar cutaneous branch passes superficial to flexor reticulum. So this is all about the applied anatomy of the median nerve. Thank you.